Well, my name's Steve Ridgell, and I want to tell you about some people you may never have heard of, the Hurtenberger Boys. There were five of them that were born and raised around Old Glory, Texas, a little north of, of Abilene out in West Texas. Uh, I know them well because the youngest, Don, I married his youngest daughter, Marcia. And I really got to know Don and Jerry and Malcolm well. Gene died in World War II, so obviously I never knew him. And Roy died not too long after Marcia and I got married. I never knew him well, but I did know the other three well. And there's a lot about life I learned from Malcolm and Jerry and Don. Jerry died last week, and he was the last of the brothers. And so I thought I'd take a moment and share with you what I learned from them, a great legacy that I hope maybe I'll pass down to my kids and grandkids. Maybe you want to do that too. Because there were three things that really mattered to the Hurtenberger boys. One of them was their faith. Don, Malcolm, and Jerry were all baptized together at a tent meeting up by Haskell, Stamford, somewhere up in that area when they were in their late teens. And they were all faithful Christians. Sometimes they struggled a little bit in life, but Jerry became an elder and they asked Don to be an elder several times, and well, Malcolm kind of kept that church in rural Texas going for a long time. They were good men. Their faith was important to him. They passed it down to their kids. Their kids are faithful Christians. It's a great legacy because it mattered to them. They knew what was important. Now, the second legacy they passed on was how to work hard. <laughs> All three of those guys worked actively till they were in their late 70s, early 80s. Jerry worked hard till he was 90. And I mean worked hard. Malcolm did a lot of construction. Don farmed a lot. Jerry did a lot of mechanical engineering work. They all took care of yards and farms and jobs and helped kids and helped grandkids. And they just did for people. They worked for people. Ironically, they could all cook, and I don't know quite where that came from. Malcolm was famous for his rolls. Jerry was famous for his pies, and Don was famous for his candy. It's really kind of a strange thing, but they shared those with lots of people. So their faith was important to them. Their work ethic was important. But the third great legacy of the Hurtenberger boys is family. Boy, they love family. I, I watched when Malcolm was dying, and Grandpa Don would go up there almost every night and hold Malcolm's hand and talk to him and pray over him, especially the last few weeks before Malcolm died. And Malcolm's end-of-life care was really given. I mean, his son did, but it was really his daughter-in-law, Kathy, that really took care of Malcolm. And I thought, that's a special family, and we were up there a lot. And I watched Jerry come every day when Don and his wife, Jean, my in-laws, when they were dying, Jerry was there every day. Jerry's wife, Lila, died several years ago, but Jerry would show up every day and sit with Granny, then with Grandpa, in their last days. And Grandpa's end-of-life care was given especially by his two daughters, boy, and, and me. I did a lot of work for Grandpa at the farm in his last years when he couldn't, and you know, there's something special about that. Jerry's end of life, his daughter lives away, so a lot of Jerry's end of life care and, and helping him as he got older was done by his nieces. Dawn and Marcia did a lot, but especially Phyllis, Marcia's sister, really was Jerry's go-to person. And sometimes, because I'm married to Marcia, I got to help. Family and work ethic and faith. And I think about the things I want to leave to the people that follow me in my family. And that's what I want to do for them. I want them to love God. I want them to work hard so they can help other people. And I want them to love and take care of family. So thank you to the Hurtenberger boys, and especially to the three I knew well, Malcolm, Don, and Jerry. I got to do all three of their funerals, and I think they have impacted me. In fact, tell you the truth, in some ways, I'm a little bit more a Hurtenberger than I even am a Ridgel, and I'm thankful for that kind of legacy.